Good morning, and welcome to Daily Miles. I got good news and I got bad news. We'll get to the bad news in just a little bit. First, smash that like button down below. Helps out the channel. Right next to that is the subscribe button. Definitely helps out the channel. Let's get right into it. Just finished shooting five, seven, five, six, and seven. Had to do a lot of editing. God, I had to do it. I need an editor. I really need an editor. Ugh, good Lord. Anyways, <clears throat> finally got five, six, and seven done. I'm going to do uh, eight, nine, and ten later on today. In the meantime, however, some bad news. I'm hitting the road ASAP, like need to get out of here like tomorrow. So I'm not going to get to the caves t today or tomorrow. So not so much with that idea. In the meantime, heading north just a little bit up the 101. Need to get to a Walmart. And the reason why is because <laughs> I'm out of... Um, green canisters, green propane canisters. Those things have become like gold these days. You can't find them anywhere. I went to a Target that had them two days ago. They didn't have them. Poof, gone, all out. Sold them all out. I was like, what? I should have bought one on the, on the spot, but I didn't have any money. So anyways, so what's on the agenda for the rest of the day is really just sitting here uh, in the parking lot, uh, prepping script eight, nine, and 10. And it will end in a slightly different place. I got news for you. And it's it's actually really good that I did what I did today because it changed the whole tone of the, the last three episodes. So yay, way cool. So that's what I'm gonna spend the rest of my day doing. And then wrap this up and get out of here. <laughs> and then head north. All righty, kitties. Oh, and before I go, Amelia stories. Chapter two, section three, Phil meets Mitzi. Amelia walked down Howell and after certain in the knowledge that Phil wasn't going to follow her and that she'd been clear with him. That was that as far as she was concerned. Phil, on the other hand, stood there watching her walk away. He had high hopes of walking her home and getting a date or a phone number or something, but the woman of his dreams just walked out of his life. She didn't want to see him or date him. Obviously, he was a little sad, and he was also cold. He needed to find some place to sleep. The buses were all, had all stopped running, and the taxi cabs were scarce, and there were no boarding houses anywhere that he could see. He had all this back pay in his pocket and no place to sleep. So he found a merchant's stoop and curled up for a few hours, vowing to leave at first light. It was at this point that I said to him, But Grandpa, how did you guys end up together if she didn't want to see you? And that's when he said to me, Fate lent a hand, and some books gave us a good shove. Yep, that's uh, episode number six. Number two, number three. That's episode number three right there. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next Daily Miles. Bye.